What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabon from Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness Center. Welcome to the Health, the Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness YouTube channel. Also, check out check out the Health Sacred Life Health Wellness Sacred Life Health and Wellness Wellness uh, YouTube uh, Health Health Sacred Life Connection Health and blo Wellness Blog. Sorry, had a little trouble there. But um, check us out on our, on our blog, and we thank you for stopping by the YouTube channel. And if you Listen to this on the blog. We thank you for checking, for talking about the blog. So our topic today is the last principle in Napoleon Hill's 17, 17 principles of success. And this is entitled Cosmic Habit Force. There are 17, as we said, there are 17 principles. You can find all 17 principles on this YouTube channel. All uh, with other uh, lectures by Napoleon Hill, other um, videos dealing with success and prosperity, with um, wealth, health, and for more, check out our other our, our companion our companion YouTube channel, Man Means Mind. And you can, uh, we have even more videos from Napoleon Hill, Wallace Wallace, many other, uh, uh, Bob Proctor, many other self-help gurus. So, and we always say this channel is for your physical, mental, spiritual, and physical health. We try to deal with the human being on all four levels. Every human being is a physical creature walking on the earth. He's a mental being, he's a spiritual being, and he needs finances to live. That is the fact of life. You have to have money. So you should not be ashamed of the desire to accumulate to accumulate wealth. God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to be healthy. And we say God, we're talking about the one who, who originated everything, the creator of the heavens and earth, the one who put us in this universe, who put us in this womb, we call the universe, and has given us access to the boundless wealth in the universe so god the creator the universe wants you to be wealthy wants you to be successful as we previously stated this is the 17th principle cosmic habit force We're going to have a video shortly with all 17 principles on the same video. So look look for that. We encourage you to go back and check out principle number one. Because all of the success principles, they build on each other. These success principles were given to Napoleon Hill by Andrew Carnegie and uh, Henry Ford. So two of the most successful men during his time. And uh, Carnegie would probably be a billionaire uh, if you adjusted his money to, to uh, with inflation to, to this time. He would be a multi-billionaire. If you want a free confidential health analysis or health coaching section, contact me at Hassan at skill at gmail.com a health coach can help you get a handle on your physical health. So if you feel like you need to talk to a health coach to find out how you can eat clean, how you can uh, clean, clean your diet up, how you can lose weight, how you can get in better health, better physical health, better mental health, uh, contact me at uh, hassanisky at gmail.com. And we'll set up a confidential consultation, uh, coaching session. And if you're new to the channel, first time stopping by, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. We will greatly appreciate that. And for those of my loyal uh, subscribers, hit that like and share button. And we appreciate every subscriber 
everyone who stopped by and viewed this video, view our videos, who check out the channel. So let's get into the video. Let's look at principle of success, principle number 17, cosmic habit force. The ordinance of the world of natural laws gives evidence that they are under the control of a universal plan. Man is the only living creature equipped with the power of choice through which, they, or which he may establish his own thought and behavior patterns. You have the power to break bad habits and to create good ones in their place at will. You are where you are and what you are because of your established habits and thoughts and deeds. So you are what you think about. Your thinking uh, formulates your habits. What you think about thinking forms you as a person. So if I want to have good habits, I have to have thoughts that will lead me to good habits. I need to be around people with good habits. Because as Earl Nightingale said, you are the sum total of the five people you hang around the most. So if I want to be a person with good habits, I need to be hang around people with good habits. So that, that will rub off on me. So I have to think thoughts that will form in my mind, in my consciousness, good habits. Because I am where I am and what I am because of my established habits, my established thoughts, and my established deeds. Now let's go further to cosmic habit force. The three essentials of cosmic habit force. You are where you are and what you are because of your established habits. Cosmic habit force is the medium that every living thing participates in as a part of the environment it lives and moves in. And so, success attracts more success and failure attracts more failure. As we said, you are the sum total of the people you hang around. If I want good habits, I need to be around people who exhibit good habits. A person can control his earthly destiny to an outstanding degree simply by choosing to shape his or her own thoughts. Earl Nightingale said, men simply refuse to think. This also can explain why more than three-fourths of the people who have the full benefits of a great country such as ours grow through life, go through their life in poverty and won't. We simply refuse to think our way or think ourselves out of our bad situation. We focus on life instead of focusing on plenty. Your mind can help you or destroy you depending on how you use it. If you think you're broke, you're right. If you think you're rich, you're right. The mind, you can convince your mind to believe anything you want to believe. So be careful of what you think about. As there's a saying, that very prominent saying, as a man thinks so is he, I think it, therefore I am. My mind, my thinking shakes me. My habits are formed by my thinking. So if I want good habits, I have to have good thinking. If I want to be around people, if I want to have an environment of good thinking, I need to be around other people who are thinkers, who have good, positive thoughts. So because I am, as I said again, I am the sum total of the five people that I hang around the most.
Success or failure, abundance or poverty, poverty is all determined by the habitual thinking you do. Napoleon Hill's entire research led to this important discovery and to enable us of the knowledge it reveals. I am what I think about. I am who I think I am. You are who you think you are. So you have to constantly give yourself feedback. You have to change the thinking, change the, the loop in your mind. You have to constantly give yourself affirmations. You have to constantly see yourself as the position you want to be. That's why you need a vision board. That's why you need to write stuff down. Constantly seeing yourself doing what you want to do, not what you have been limited to think you can do, but do what you actually want to do. Become who or what you actually want to become. In order to do that, you have to change your thinking. You have to change the way you see or perceive things. And a lot of times you can't do that on your own. You need to have a, a, a coach. So if you need a coach, don't everybody should have a every, every successful person has a coach. There, we have there's health coaches, there are life coaches, spiritual coaches. Don't feel bad. Reach out and get a coach. If you need a health coach, you need a uh, life coach, contact me at hostonaskill at gmail.com and we'll set up a free confidential uh, consultation. Talking to a health coach is less, call, will cause you less money than talking to a psychiatrist or psychologist. We're trained in the art of effective listening or active listening. So contact us. First session is free. And I reiterate, I reiterate always confidential. So until next time, we thank you for stopping by. And if you stay to the end, we really appreciate it. Hit that like button, give that thumbs up, share. We're out. Peace.